Uh, okay. There we go. Everything should be fine now. So, hey guys, hey Fickett, hey Lucas, hey Leon on MGS, hey the wizard, hey fuck me harder please, hey everybody, what's up? Uh, okay, so last time we were just, uh, we actually finished in like a decent spot, so we're gonna pick up from there. I believe it was the end of the day of the first trial, we, uh, Edgeworth had some kind of super revelation when he saw the card with the seashell on it that was held by uh, Adrian Andrews. Is that eagle test? Oh, awesome! I'm all, and I'm sure it's all thanks to. I'm sure you had like Phoenix Wright in your head the whole time, or you had someone. Um, what's the word? Like project Mia, and her big boobs helped you out. I'm sure, that was the reason. Anyway, okay. Somewhat surprisingly. Nah, dude. Th this is like official legal. Um, Training right here, what we're doing here. So it's it's fun and it's like entertaining and it's educating. The students start throwing pencils at him at the third time he held objection. <laughs> nice. Oh, hey, Jinbri. Or oh, Jinbre. Forgot how to mention it, how to read your name. Anyway, I'm wasting time. Uh, let's get started. Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya. <laughs> there, there, pearls. I, I can't take it anymore. Wow! <laughs> Look, it'll be all right. Everything may still work out. Hmm. The condition was that we had to get a not guilty verdict. So far, the kidnapper has kept his word and hasn't hurt Maya. And he won't because Mr. On Guard hasn't been given a guilty sentence yet. <laughs> no. Cheer up! We don't have time to stand around crying, we have to get going. Mm. You, you're right. Mr. Maya is in much more pain than I am. Yes, that's right. So... M Mr. Scruffy Detective? Oh, by the way, I don't know if any of you guys caught it, but last night, like, uh, Toast did a, th did, Toast did a stream where he actually went like, willy 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 wah for like 15 minutes. Straight. Just willy 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 Oh boy, looks like Detective Toast. Has been dubbed Mr. Scruffy Detective in Pearl's book now. But we're kind of busy right now. Okay, I guess I'll talk to him. Actually, it was a decent uh, stream. Uh, because he did other stuff besides that, obviously. So, what are you going to do from now on? Well, you've been fired, right? So, do you have a new job lined up yet? What are you talking about? You don't have... You don't have another payday. Say what? Well, yeah. What do you want? 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 Come on, Mr. Nick. Let's let Mr. Scruffy Detective take care of things. Uh, okay. By the way, what's your best dish? What do you want? Why am I surrounded by people who only eat cheap, unhealthy was? What do you want? 
Willy, Willy Wong. Willy, Willy, Willy Wong. You said that. That's horrible. Willy, Willy, Willy Wong. The truth. Sandra's last testimony. I wonder if that was the truth. I give you that there was nothing strange in her testimony itself. But I still think there is something fundamentally wrong with the whole thing. Would you would you wrong? Why would she want to No, I mean I almost need to frame Matt on guard. I mean almost need to frame Matt on guard. I couldn't figure out I couldn't figure that out from anything she said all day. Not a lie, per se. It just feels like there's more here than meets the eye. Or, that, or that's what Edgeworth wants us to believe. That's such a dirty trick. Even that woman prosecutor was better than that. Francisco von Karma. What do you want? What do you... What do you... Ah, oh, shit. Speaking of Miss Von Karma, do you have any more information on her condition? Wasn't she shot this morning? Willy, Willy Wong, Willy, Willy Wong! But, but she's going to be fine, right? I mean, Edrith said she was in stable condition, but... Wow, Willy, Willy, Willy Wong! Willy, Willy Wong! Willy, 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 Which one? What? Willy, Willy, what? No, well, I was kind of thinking about it. What? Willy, Willy, what? Willy, 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 what? Willy, 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 what? Let's go and let her whip us, Mr. Nick. Now I'm definitely not going. Wah! Willy! Willy Willy Wah! Wah! That name sends a chill down my spine. Well, I guess it can't hurt to stop by and say hi. Uh, the wizard, it's if you could make your font a bit brighter, it's really hard to uh, have to like really put an effort to to read whatever you're saying. What do my commas go? It's like really hard to read it. Uh, okay, so I guess we have to go to the Hati Clinic now. Never thought I'd ever come back to this place. <laughs> you here to, to visit a patient? Oh, oh. Uh, hi. Wait a second, you're... Oh, <laughs> I'm direct, direct, honey. <laughs> Why are you still here? Oh, oh yes. What, what is it? Oh, can I help you? You can, you can always tell me. Oh, yes. Director Hotty! Oh, no. I guessed wrong. Never mind. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, 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 director, director, hi. Oh, oh. Hey, Harry Ann. Oh, oh, you're the, the man from this morning. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, hey, what is it? Well, what is it? Oh, oh, oh. Director Francisca. How is Francisca von Karma? You don't need to, don't need to worry, no, no need to, to worry, oh yes, she's, she's good, in good hands, <laughs> because, you see, uh, I, I, I'm personally taking a good, good care of her, oh yes, oh, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, 
surgery. It went well. It went really well. You have my gratitude. Looks like Edward doesn't know about this director and his secret. <laughs> she looked so, so beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. Very fine. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thanks, Rooster. See ya. But if you guys could keep bumping, that would be awesome. I see you already bumping like mad, and that's really cool. Thanks, guys. But, but I am underst I understand. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, her or opponent was was a was a gun. <laughs> After all. <laughs> And when I I snuck I snuck up on her, you real secret like she would just she would scream, <laughs> she would scream loud. Oh yes, oh yes. Ah, uh, see. Huh. But she she's really she's really cute too. When I I do that, she she'd whip me, she'd whip me with a whip, she she would whip me, she she would whip me uh -huh, uh -huh. Really you got banned? For how long? Usually they just ban the the OP. Not the people who's bumping, but okay. Perma bullshit it was perma ban. Thirty days? Nah, you guys are shitting me. No way that when I opened threads, and it was the OP that created those shits and bumped it, they only gave me like a three day ban. No way it's 30 days. Born, can I cry like a baby? Oh yes, but huh, I think <laughs> you think I could get used to it again. <laughs> Go back to your room. You know, you're so mean. So, so, so mean. My, my, my little frisky, 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 frisky. Oh, okay, okay. I, mm, yes. Time, time for my, time for my IV drop. Time for my IV drop. Oh yes, oh yes. And what are those tulips doing in your hand, Hell Phoenix Soils? Hey, Asset. What a long time no see. Give her the dick she wants it. I've seen a couple of photos that uh, agree with that statement, actually. Ugh, I knew I should have come here. I was shot in front of the courthouse in my right shoulder. Oh yeah, that might be it. Uh, Leonom, Anon, and yes, you have to use that link and not our own because it's auto bannable in 4chan. <laughs> it's no big deal. This sort of thing happens all the time. I even had full intentions of running the trial this morning. But... but that would have been too much. Yeah, you look like you were deathly scared until only a few minutes ago. But I drag... I was dragged here by that prosecutor. Even went so far as to grab me by the wrist the whole way here. It was the only logical course of action given the bullet was still lodged in your shoulder. But with me doing so, I found myself having to clean up after you and that irresponsible deal you made. <laughs> I think I know what deal he's referring to. Miss Von Karma. You made a deal with Miss Andrews yesterday, didn't you? I don't know what you mean. 
In order to make sure you got your guilty verdict on Mr. On Guard, I told Miss Andrews not to testify to not testify in court today. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Do you have proof that I made such a deal? You're denying it? It looks like you were lucky. Have Phoenix Heights. If I had been in court today, this trial would already be over. All while holding Miss Andrews, Andrews's own crime. That is not my problem. Whether she has tampered with evidence or not, I have only one objective: to find on guard guilty of murder. The end justifies the means, half in excite. The end justifies the means. This fun karma. Adrian Andrews believed you when she believed you when you said, "If you don't tell the truth of what really happened, then our guard will be found guilty." And what does that have to do with Nish? Because of that, she is now in danger of being found guilty herself. All because she believed in your words until the very end. <laughs> that still has nothing to do with me. She's just a weak person. That is all. But you had to know she was... No! Hmm. I think visiting hours here are about over. So, if you'll excuse me... What's wrong? Why did she suddenly cut you off? Probably because she thinks I had the advantage in that argument. Edgeworth. What happened today at the trial, Edgeworth? That was not like you at all. I know I've been told, but it's my best for now. Until until I, until someone is willing to give me lessons on German accent. I think though it's, it sounds like okay for anyone who isn't German, and only people who are German notice that it's not it's not good. Huh. I mean I know I know you knew about Miss Andrews' condition. You could have made her testify as many times as you wanted, but to go that far. Hey, Chocobo. Oh, but she wouldn't testify about that until I said something. Listen, right. The courtroom is a garden of judgment. I am putting myself on the line when I stand in there. And that's why I made the witness do the same. It's only natural. By the way, Edgeworth. You were really angry in court today. That's rare for you. Witness! That card! Give it to me! Hurry! Do you have any idea what you have stupidly yet inadvertently done? This. I can't believe you hid this from me all this time. That card. When the world is it? You mean this? Listen, right? This is top secret information. You absolutely cannot leak this. A special investigation team has existed for a number of years, but few know of it. Uh, I understand. Their task is to find the owner of this card. A man called Shelley the Killer. And just as his name states, he is a killer. An assassin. The best at that. An assassin? So who is this Shelley the killer? The killer is the name of a long-standing line of assassins. Long-standing? The name first appeared about a hundred years ago, I hear. Shelley is the professional name of the third heir to the De Killer name. What's wrong 
BDSM. So because his professional name is Shelly, he leaves cards with a shell on them? He has a habit of making sure to leave a card by the body of his victims. Okay, good night, Chocobo. Why would you do something like that? I think it is a part of his duty to his clients. His duty? If he leaves the card, then his clients can be assured it was he who killed the victim. It also serves as insurance against any charges being pushed onto his clients. I see. The killer values the trust between his clients and himself above all else. It seems that this is one honorable assassin with a moral moral conscience. I guess that even honorable assassins can exist. So you think this assassin... You think he's the one who did the killing in this case? It would appear that way. The discovery of the card would basically confirm it, wouldn't you agree? Shelly the killer, huh? I noticed something at the trial today. You were behaving in a very strange manner. Is something the matter? I guess... I should just tell him. Maya... She's been kidnapped. K kidnapped? What does the kidnapper want? An acquittal. No, it's not an acquittal. Acquittal! I see. I had no idea. Uh, wait, Anon 5138, what's, what's so disappointing, man? I will prepare a rescue team as soon as possible and resolve this by tomorrow. Really? Did you hear that, Mr. Nick? M Mr. Edgeworth is, is going to... Stop trying to console me, Edgeworth! I don't need your pity! M Mr. Nick? Did you see the lolly? She was just here. There's no way you can find her. We don't have even a single clue to go on. Hmm. There's only one way to save her. Uh, I have to get an ac ac I have to get an acquittal somehow. Yes, I think I did. I have to get an acquittal somehow. It's the only way. Hmm. Right? Listen. You need to know something. Juan Corridor was killed by Shelley the Killer. Acquittal? Not acquittal. Acquittal. Ah, oh, I'm getting confused. Never mind. Oh, dude, that's Toya. Hold on a second. Hold on. Just one second. It's Toya Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'll take that out later. Anyway. Yeah, you just told us that. And the client who ordered the job is Matt on guard. Your own client. Please stop! I, I can't listen to you. I can't believe that. I see. Well, if you want to continue your investigations, you will need this. What is it? The hotel right now is restricted to police personnel only. As we are looking for any clues that might lead us to Shelley the Killer. If you take this with you to the hotel, I'm sure they will let you enter. Okay, that's cool. You know what I, you know what I don't get though? Like, especially now that Edgeworth knows about this. Both of them, like Edgeworth and Wright, can just go right now to, uh, to the judge. And tell him, okay, we got a hostage situation that's gonna get killed if uh, the guy isn't uh, not found not guilty. So we just so they they do a mock trial, declaring him not guilty. They get Maya back, and then they redo the trial. So, uh, so and for real this time, and that's how we do. 
In any case, I must attend to the preparations for Maya's rescue team. We'll meet again if anything should happen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Mr. Nick, do you do you think Mr. On Guard hired an assassin? Because that'd be illegal. But a person's life is on the line, so they could make an exception. I'm sure they could get the the, the fucking uh, I don't know Department of Law or whatever. Sure. Oh come on, they, they can make. Extremely illegal, dude. I bet they they can like get a special. I'm I'm sure like the these things have happened before. Once someone is sentenced, you can't bring them back to court. But they make the court unofficial. They make it a mock trial. Wanting to negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> okay, actually, you guys are right. Fuck, just fuck, uh, Maya, because I I wanted to die anyway. No way. I mean, it doesn't have a psyche lock. Everything a Phoenix Ride is a mock <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess not. Maya. Please, all I ask is you make it home safe and sound. <laughs> I guess even kidnappers can be a little clumsy. Clumsy enough to drop a car like this for me. Even enough, and even though we said he was an assassin, I mean he's just making that up, like who nicked us with everything in court. Anyway, let's try out the car trick with this car I just found. Sounds like I got the door open. Okay, time to go and take a look around. Okay, this is kind of dangerous, but okay. But what is this place? I've got a feeling I'm not in the hotel anymore. Are those videos over there? Well, I'll worry about that later. For now, I should be looking for clues! Casting couch! <laughs> <laughs> that, way, that way I can shoot them to cease and maybe get out of here! Instead of just running the fuck away. Look, there's a fucking hole in the fucking door. Just go through it. Okay, let's examine shit. This picture. There's a framed picture sitting on this coffee table. It's a picture of a woman. She's kind of pretty. Hey, looks like something's written here. Let's see. I think it says Love Celeste. I bet this could be a clue. Okay, so we know that Celeste Impax has something to do with this shit. Which is really weird. That's weird. What's a figurine doing in on a sofa in a place like this? You think it's a bear? Oh, how cute! But it's got a lot of cuts and slits on it. Wonder if it's some kind of puzzle or something. Okay, what else do we have? Got a satellite. What is this thing? An antenna, I guess? And this is a VCR? There sure are a lot of electronic gadgets here. But what is an antenna doing here? Well, let's, let's go to the internet. Oh, hey! It's a computer! I've never really used one before. Hmm. Um, I have no idea where the power switch on this thing is. Drat! There goes my plan to use this somehow to get out of here! Yes, I know, I know. Japanese never gets a computer. Whatever. Okay, what about that hole in the fucking door? There we go. Uh, locked, of course. It doesn't look like I can use the car to open this door. 
was a little hole, hole at the bottom of the door. If only it was a little skinnier, then maybe I'd be able to crawl through there. Oh, this will simply not do. I cannot have you wandering around that way. <coughs> it seems <coughs> that your Mr. Knight is truly concerned about you. He is? For now, I would suggest you remain cooperative. If you cannot, there are ways in which I can help you. Ways? You mean... Dead men tell no tales is how the saying goes, correct? I am almost certain I told you on our first meeting. I am an assassin. No way! You're lying! I mean, an assassin? People are not always who they appear to be. Nick! Mr. Nick. Hmm? Uh, oh, yes, Pearls. Got caught up in my thoughts about Maya's situation. Mr. Edgeworth has left, you know. I guess for now I have no choice but to believe in Mr. On Guard. But I think I should listen to th his story one more time. Alright, let's get going too. Okay. Okay, I guess we're going to the... What's we call it? Detention center? I'm sorry, but visiting hours are over for today. Oh. Ugh. I have too many questions I need to ask. I'm sorry, but I'm Phoenix Wright, a lawyer for one of the... You Mr. Wright, you say? Oh yeah, there's a message here for you. A message? It's from Adam Guard. Um, here you are. What did what what did he write? Is it something really important? I don't know. Well, let's see what it has to say. To the lawyer, dude. I've got something really important to tell you. Do you feel uneasy all of a sudden? Oh, Mr. Ride. So actually, I have a favor to ask of you. I have this cat named Chu. <laughs> I didn't put out a lot of food when I left the house, so he's probably pretty hungry. You think you could drop by my house and feed Chu for me, dude? My house is just a little ways down from the hotel, right? Hmm. And before Shu is actually a Shu. <laughs> well, there was a Chin Pokemon. Maybe it's a Chin Pokemon called Shu. This is terrible. Let's hurry, we have to feed this cat. I'm sure poor Shu's stomach is growling by now. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Clan's request is a request. Guess I should go check up on his cat. Okay. We're going to feed Shu. Looks a little bit of Elphus when doing our guard, dude. What do you think I am? I can try, though. Uh, hotel. All right, now, Mr. Nick. Let's go look for clues. We have to. We have to, for Mystic Maya's sake. 
You shall not pass! <gasps> I sold back. Don't give me your name and turn it into a gas, you spanky headed fool! Because of you, I've been made to look like the bad guy again! Although, I did get a piece of gold from it, you boy, just as you promised. Something much more valuable, I know that it was hard! It's all your fault! You've awakened the whole beast of time this old man! Oh, uh, Miss Oldbag. Keep your hands off of me! This helmet is your tight! No way I'll get in, and no way I'll get out! Um, what does your helmet have to do with anything? Do you think you can get me to move on silly questions? You won't try to defeat me if you want to get born! I'm not hearing this. Fucker, I'm gonna go feed sh feed the shoe. Living room. Hmm, sure is dark. I'll go turn on a light. Wow, so this is what a star's house looks like. Must be nice to be rich. Come on, Mr. Nick. Let's find Shu, the kitty cat. Shu. So I guess this is Shu. Oh, what a lovely cat. Hello, Shu. Does anybody want me to do uh, a voice for Shu? <laughs> if you want me to do a different voice than default cat from Shu, just let me know. It could be quite funny, actually. My name is the cat, do a dog voice for sure. <laughs> okay. Evil genius voice? Dude, why this? This isn't fucking family guy, come on. Besides, he just says meow. There's like a limit of what it can do. What does a shoe sound like? <laughs> uh, look, that looks like the door from Maya. Holy shit, it does! Dog voice? Okay. The cat seems to like pearls. Pardon me. <gasps> May I help you with something, Mr. Oh, uh, we're lawyers. Actually, I'm Mr. Ongar's lawyer. The masters. Then, you must be... Mr. Right. Yes. Ah, it's a pleasure to meet your wonderful sales. I am the family butler, John Doe, with the most unsuspecting name you have ever had. Nice to meet you. You must know all sorts of things about Mr. On Guard, right? Honestly, sir, I don't believe my master is capable of such a foul deed as murder. Yeah, that that cat is called Shu. And I think that is a pretty that's that's an awesome name for for a cat because after he dies, he can still you can still keep his name. And uh, anything else? No, not especially. It is not appropriate for a lonely servant to speak of the master or his affairs. Hmm, how typically butler-like, as it were. Mr. Doe, how long have you served at this residence? Well, sir, I would have to say maybe 
be about one year. Hmm. Oh. And uh, anything else? No, not especially. It is not a prop. Okay, we did that. I would have thought, Mr. Guard, the kind to have a maid over a butler. Shoo. That's a very cute cat you've got here. It is my duty to take care of him. The master has a fancy shoe. And uh, anything else? No, 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 no. Well then, I guess I don't need this piece of scrap paper anymore. Okay. Well. I'm afraid I must take my leave of you now. Oh, we should probably get going ourselves. Ah, so young and yet already so accomplished. A master of law. But there is also a lot to be proud of in being a butler in charge of the house and all. Thank you for the compliments, uh, People are not always who they appear to be. <laughs> and now, if you'll excuse me. Ruff. Okay. Guess we better at least try and examine the door. There's a small door at the bottom of this bigger door, Mr. Nick. The top uh, British accent? Over the top British accent? That's what we thought at first, but like it turns out that he is the kidnapper of Maya. And we did his voice the first time when he called. It was like an evil mastermind, so people asked me to do like a Chinese, uh, Chinese sensei or Chinese master, whatever. So I went for that, so I had to stick with it. When his identity was revealed, I couldn't like start doing it, uh, two voices for him. It's not really supposed to be Chinese, because I don't, I can't, no, not Chinese, Ch old Chinese master. So I, I took the liberty of again uh, taking some shit from uh, Kong Pao and I tried to do, I, I tried to, I, I was aiming for like, uh, what's the name of the evil master? Uh, he has like a good only name, I can't remember his name. Anyway, the name of the, the, the evil master from Kung Pao. That's what I was aiming for when I thought, uh, old Chinese master. Betty. Yes, that's right, Betty. So I was aiming for Betty. Oh, you mean Shu? Door. It's locked tight. Well, I guess that's to keep noisy people like me from entering it. Anything else? Uh, plates. Oh, there's a giant cooking hearth here. That's actually a fireplace. How are they different, Mr. Nick? You know, I've never actually seen a hearth before, come to think of it. You should come and visit Fae Manor then. I'll show you one when you do. It's Manor, right? Not Maynor. Oh, a giant bicycle is flying through the air. A teacher from Karate Kid? Wow, I don't even remember that. I barely remember him. But I thought Betty is more appropriate to this guy. I think it, it fits him. Manor? Okay. That bicycle pearls is one where you don't have to pedal, and it moves on its own. Really? Wow! But sorry to disappoint you, it can't fly. Oh, that's too bad. How is she so retarded? Because she's a kid that has been kept away from society and ships and like that. 
Uh, I don't know if there's anything that's really worth mentioning here. Did this... That may be with the picture. Closet? Let's try this. No, that's the same. Thread died? Really? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, too bad. Okay, never mind then. Really? Because of that? Wait, are you sure? Because it doesn't say... No, it's still alive. It's still alive. It just bumped for me. Are you sure you're on the right thread? Rag? Yeah, I, j I just saw someone bump it. I think it's still alive. A little opening on the right door for cats. I know we did we, we did the, the door. I like I tried the, the little opening. I think it just takes on the whole door. And we did that. Oh no, we, yeah, we talked about it. So for the cat, shoe, blah blah blah. And the door is locked. Maybe the over here. Oh, uh, there are masks here. Yeah, that one in the middle is the steel samurai. The one next to that are the pink princess and the evil magistrate. They fought many ba battles against the backdrop of Neo Old Tokyo. Wow, you really know a lot about the Steel Samurai, Mr. Nick. I don't know whether to laugh or cry that I know more about that show than a kid. Pearl Rule 33, 34. Try and fit through that little opening. I can't. Maybe Sheik? No, I can't. I have no reason to do that too right now, because I don't know that she's her. Okay, I guess I have to go over here, and I need to present her with my pass. Pull should be able to... Yeah, but, like, I can't tell her to do it. I'll need some sort of, of, uh, of logic to do that. Like for Phoenix, he just went into some guy's house. He doesn't know it's the same door yet. Well, this two man, he, he's just rich. So, anyway. Hmm. Maybe if I show her li this letter I got from Edgeworth. A um, missile bag. If you would look at what you want me to look at this worthless piece of. Uh, is that a perfume? Pheromone d'amour I smell? Ugh. Let's see here! Would you please allow this unsophisticated young person to conduct his investigation? Yours truly, Miles Edgeworth. Yours truly? That means uh, that man's good at flattery. Fine, but only because Angie Poo said so. You understand? Give it to Miss all that. Okay. I just thought of th something I had to do. Remember, no messing around. If you do anything bad, I won't let you off the hook. Looks like she has strong feelings for Mr. Edgeworth. That may be, but you know nothing's gonna come out of it. That's so mean, Mr. Nick. Feelings are meant to be told and shared. No. Oh. Every time we talk about love, I always end up with a handprint on my face somehow. Um, so anyway, let's continue our investigation. Why am I carrying around a kid? Cause... You remember Maya, that annoying little bitch? Well, this is her cousin. And we have to take care of her, I guess. Oh, yeah, because her mom is also in jail. So she doesn't have any family except uh, that annoying bitch. So that's what we got now. Ah! What? What now? One little thing before I forget! You can't go into our guard's room today! Why? The police's main investigation team is going to be in there all day, you hear? wonder if they're the team in charge of investigating the killer. Second order! She can't fit in there and you'll face the wrath of Wendy Orta! 
Okay, we're finally done with her. Let's get going. Uh, Viola Hall. Looks like we're the only ones here. And yet, the hotel seems so busy somehow. Probably because the police team is scouring for clues about the killer. Uh, nothing here. Hallway. Hey, city boy! L Lotta, you're still here. Rick, of course! No, that's not right. Yeah, nigga! An investigative photographer eats or stops in her ability to snap up the scoop. You dig? And this hotel just has that aura mystery, uh-huh. You know, like something's always about to happen. But, do you have a camera? Nigga, please! A photographer's gotta have cameras out up the ear, that cord, and a re like mulatto melon, and a real nigga. You dig? So I'm hanging around here. <laughs> Speaking of cameras and feeding the mouth, do you have mine, ya cracker? Ah, oh, no. We don't have niggers here, so. Why can't you drop that thief thing already? I want to ask you about the night of the murder. What? You really gonna shell out the bucks for the info I got? Lada, you were loitering in the hallway the night of the murder, were you not? Nicole Bag sound like Miss Featherbottom from Arrested Development. I don't even remember her. No, Flip, I no, he didn't. He bought you something else. But I won't ruin the, the surprise. No man, that's something else. I uh, know, at least that's what he told me. He like showed me what he, what he was gonna buy to you and told me he was gonna do that instead. So I don't know. But okay. Was that really your address? I was sure, like, I, I was sure that uh, he was gonna send something to like some government official or something, or the chief of police or something, and get raped in the end. Anyway, uh, well, kinda, but brace yourself, right? Here it comes. I have electric gates <laughs> and cards, no problem. I see. Anyway, I hope he he bought you. I'll, I'll ask him again. But as far as I know, he bought you something else. You you're in for a surprise. I didn't exactly hang around here the entire time, you know. Followed a few stars around. Got a few autographs. Shook a few hands. Had a soda pop with a few of them too. Looks like she wasn't here the entire time that night. Okay, Raptor, no problem. The security lady also wasn't in this hallway the whole time either. I guess this means there no, there's no one who can tell us who came and went that night. Aren't there security cameras around here? The fuck is a muse? Uh, so about the note that was inside your camera case. Oh, that DDI wrote. Yeah, can I believe what you've written? A Pokemon. <laughs> I see. So you got a private one, that's cool. You mean the shit I put on God covering his manager lady onto corridor? Yeah. Ah, well. Shit. I bet you best not be believing that. What? Look, I saw the road that on a whip, you know, writing whatever came to mind. Whatever came to mind? Oh, we do best funky. Oh, now I remember that. I was actually aiming for the Monty Python ladies, but that's good too. Oh my god, I should. I got the whole like seasons. I got the, like all the DVDs of the seasons. I should rewatch them. Yeah, when you get down to it, it's just like a lot of random bull duties. Hey, 
Hey, what's with ya? Why are you staring at me like my grandpa used to? Hmm. Hey, and why do you look like you suddenly got older too? Or am I just drinking here? Um. Ah, my baby, my baby, my sixteen hundred dollar baby. What's with that red coated prosecutor, anyhow? That nigga told me it was evidence and refused to give it back to me. Well, that's kind of how it is. Hey, hey. You be that that red coat's friend, ain't ya? Spread a few good words for me and get back my camera. Y you want me to do what? Listen, nag the nigga real good about five hours and I guarantee you give it back. Why don't you do your own dirty work? We will see. I bet it's time for me to get going. Tablet photographer without a camera is just a tabloid, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Keep yourself together back there, you hear? Keep it real. I'm coming to see you in court tomorrow. Uh, okay, uh, I'll see you there then. And you too there, little one. Keep the good work, you dig? Okay. Don't be picky about your food now. Okay. Make sure you do all your homework, you dig? Okay. And if you happen to find yourself a camera, make sure you bring it right to me. Would you please just leave already? Thank fucking god. Okay. Hey, ADC boobs. Long time no see. Uh, let's go. Okay, I guess we can only go to corridors. Uh, shit. I just don't know who that is. M -m -m Mr. Nick! What is that otherworldly, ghastly moaning? I, I hate evil ghosts! <laughs> I don't think it's a ghost. Maybe it's a demon? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, my bad. Okay, I'll extend. My bad, my bad. Extend the event. And you should just refresh. And everything should be okay now. There. You guys can now refresh. And you should be able to see uh, the stream properly. Uh, no, no, it's okay, I got it. Uh, maybe it's a demon? Excuse me! What's so you calling a demon, brat? Ah! Zoinks! It's the alien! Who are you calling a alien? <laughs> Oh, it's just you, Miss Oldbag. What are you doing here? What is wrong with youngins today? Yeah, I guess it was a Scooby-Doo reference. I came down here to pay my respects to my poor one, and you're disturbing me! Why? Just why? This one's like, I know, right? This a man. Please talk to me about the night of the murder just one more time. I talked about it plenty at the trial! I was fooled, tricked, deceived by that fraud of a photographer and her note! Cory then spent his slang for cup, really? I didn't know that. She was loitering around here with that imbecilic look on her face! With that imbecilic look on her face? Okay, got it. Now hold on a second there, you little pipsqueak! If 
You're all going to take me out and this make me sound better than that! Oh, alright. Now I've seen everything. But you know, I was working that night too, doing my job, minding my own business. So it's not like I had time to waste standing around here the whole night. Ugh. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit more about Mr. Corridor. He was the most popular star, you know? Especially where his cult! In my book! But I heard that he was lagging behind in the polls against Mr. On Guard. Um, oh, well, th that's just a recent thing! Uh, bad luck and all that, you know? But... He was going to become an even bigger star than he used to be! Look! Just look at this mountain of presents! It's a show of the mountain of feelings all his friends had for him! Yeah, the mountain is pretty big, and certainly nothing to shake a stick at. Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? The presents. They're all bears, right? She's got a point. There isn't a single thing here that isn't a bear. All of Mr. Corda's presents from his fans seem to be... bears. Oh, that's because you can't think of one without thinking about bears! Bears? Why bears? You don't know? When my dear Juan was training, he fought bare-handed with a bear! He refused to give in and let the bear win, but after the fight, they became friends! Wow! What a heartwarming story! Look! It's just like in those young people's dramas! I can see those two tuckered out! Down by a river going... You, you shall can't fight! You, you too, Bob! You too! Did all that really happen? It's in his biography, Bob! What a load of shit! So ever since then, fans have been giving him bears as presents! Yeah, nice bears. I'm Uncle Bear, and I say it's barely a clock. Barely eight o'clock, whatever. I was just dumbfounded by this shit. But what is that infernal racket? It's one of those presents going off. Sounds like it's already 8 p.m. Way past your bedtime. That startled me. I thought I was going to die for a second. 8 p.m. That's the time when the award ceremony ended that night, remember? Time sure flies. Hard to believe it's only two days since the ceremony. Uh oh. The transceiver! Hello? Hello? This is not a phone. Maya, how is Maya? You haven't heard her, have you? It seems you were not able to fulfill your end of the bargain, Mr. Light. <gasps> I have heard the news. So it would seem my present did you no good. No, Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya. One more day, please. All I ask is for one more day. Ah, uh, I'll get a not guilty verdict for sure this time, please. Hmm. I suppose if I must, I need that 
Aquino Right? More than anything else, after all. Please, please let Maya say something. I want to hear she's alright. Otherwise, then just a little. What's with the static all of a sudden? Hello? Hello? It seems. Bam! Connect! Damn it! The transceiver just suddenly break. Excuse me. W what happened? I don't know. All of a sudden, it became nothing but static. <laughs> ah, Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya. Why did the transceiver suddenly break like that? I should probably have an electronics expert to look. I should probably have an electronics expert look at it. The sooner the better. Okay. Uh, should I check the clock? Where is it even? How can I tell where the fuck the clock is? That kind of looks like a clock. A lot of bears. Now we did this already. No, I thought maybe the clock was hiding something. Like in the first cases. Far right. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Ah, oh, fuck this guy. Skip this, okay. Let's try specifically this one. No, same thing. Same dialogue, so I guess there's nothing special with that. Wait, what about this? Looks like some sort of vacuum? Like a Roomba or something? Again, same shit. And the left, it's more bears. Ugh, whatever, it's not worth it. And everything here is exactly the same. I think I just need to find... Well, look, we examined the shit out of this place, like, uh, back when the murder happened. And there wasn't anything then, and nothing has changed so far, so... I think we should just find... Why can't they just say no for you as I know, right? Uh, anyway... Uh, let's go find some uh, electronic specialist or something. Oh, a lot is in here. Uh, Viola Hall. -ha. We're looking for interference? What are you talking about? Interference? I'm looking for interference there? That's... I thought he said I should look for... It's I to... That's, that's pretty sure. Okay... You guys seem to know something I don't. So let's try that. Oops. Damn it. My bad. Hallway... Stop button... This transceiver. Whenever we're in, the, in this room, it starts acting up and hisses static at us. I wonder if there's someone we can talk to about this. Uh, well, I thought, yeah, I thought I should talk to someone, but if you guys are saying that you know something... Again, a lot of bears. No, I think I need to talk to someone first. I think I first need to talk to someone to let me know that, and then... And then I need to go back here. So I'm guessing where I'll find an electronic specialist is in the police station. 
Show it to old bag. What would old bag know about like electronic shit? Talk to toast. Oh, that might work. Yeah, I'll try toast. That's nice, thanks. Willy, willy, wah! Willy, wah! Willy, wah! I'm sorry you went through all the trouble to cook, but I don't have time to eat. Wah! Willy, 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 wah! You've got to be kidding. And here I thought he had already whipped something up. Wah! Wah! Willy, 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 wah! Willy, 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 wah! Willy! Well, since he's here and offering, I wonder what I should try asking him about. Okay. Now it's pretty obvious. Weirdly? Oh, Mr. Nick! You should ask Mr. Scruffy Detective about that thing. Weirdly wall. Oh yeah, this thing just up and broke all of a sudden. Wah. Will you what? When I was talking to the kidnapper, it just suddenly broke into static. Look, it sounded like this. Will you what? Huh? Maybe it fixed itself? That's strange. I'm sure it was making a loud static noise. Maybe what? Woodly, 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 wah! Electro, electromagnetic interference? Um, so what is electromagnetic interference? Woodly, woodly, wah! Woodly, woodly, wah! Oh, when you put it that way. I don't understand what you're talking about. Willy Wah, Willy, Willy, Willy Wah, Willy Wah, Willy Wah, Willy Wah. Huh? Computer? Um, it's like when you use the dryer next to the TV and the screen starts looking weird. Oh, yes, the TV does that. Oh, that's... so that's what you're talking about. She seems amazingly happy at being able to understand this. Ah! We were in Mr. Corda's room, the scene of the murder. What? Willy, 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 Ah, wait, toast. Willy, 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 we should get going too, Mr. Nick. Alright, let's go. Okay, let's get going. Uh, hotel lobby. Can't take Toast seriously. Well, he was never, like, a really serious character. He was always kind of the, the, the goofy, silly, uh, comic relief guy. Uh, hallway. And we're off to the room. Wah! Willy, Willy, wah! Sorry to keep you waiting. Do you have the, um, 
Bug Sweeper. What do you mean you couldn't get it? We need that item. Wow, so this is a bug sweeper. No, Desu, Desu man, he got fired. Looks a little broken. Oh, by who? Your heart and soul? But But isn't it better that way? <laughs> Getting that sinking feeling again. So we're going to find it, right? Okay, finally. Okay, just let me uh, try and understand how this goes. I can't move it though. Oh, I need to drag it around. Okay. Lamp check. Listening device. Nope. There are a lot of laughs in this room, aren't there, Mr. Nick? Yeah. And they're all on. You shouldn't do that, Mr. Nick. Don't you know that's wasteful? Uh, yeah, I'll be more conscious from now on. Sorry. Yeah, people already told me the big bear. So let's do it. Teddy. This is... This is just a giant stuffed teddy bear, right? It's the biggest one I've ever seen. No, not yet. But this bear's eye is. Yeah, I know. He's gone for like 10 seconds and then he's back. Oh, did you find it yet? Yeah, I know. It, it, it like beeps about every other thing in this room, but did you find it yet? Huh? Mr. Nick, please take my virginity. Okay. No, no, you can't. Such, such a violent act. No. That's Willy Wah Willy Willy Wah Willy Willy Wah Willy I wanna wanna what a minute Willy Wah 
Whoa, is this more of that high-tech stuff? So this tiny thing is a camera? What? Willy, Willy, what? Willy, Willy, what? Willy, 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 what? So it's a video camera. Yeah, I know. I know I got five, six minutes. Uh, I'll be off in a couple of minutes. I think I'll stop talking to Toast and maybe move around a bit, and that's it. What do you want? What do you want? But there's no videotape in this camera. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Somewhere else? Willy, Willy, wah, Willy, Willy, wah. So, it's sort of like a TV broadcast, isn't it? Wah, Willy, Willy, wah. Okay, that's up. By the way, from personal knowledge, <laughs> that's total bullshit what they just said now. But okay. Oh no, there's a transmitter, never mind. So, what's a transmitter? Willy, Willy, wah, Willy, wah, Willy, wah. Willy, 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 wah. Looks like it's attached to a small clock-like thing. Wah, Willy, Willy, wah. Willy, Willy, wah, Willy, Willy, wah. You can't set it for a certain time. Wah, Willy, 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 wah, Willy, wah. Which was at the time of the murder, yes, exactly. Exactly what Flip is saying, I, I agree. 8 p.m.? That was the time the award ceremony ended. Willy, Willy, Wah, Willy, Willy, Wah! Mr. Detective, how long has this bear been here? Wah, Willy, 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 Wah, Willy, Wah! Then, then maybe. What the what you are? What? What the what you What the what you are? What the what you are? What the what you are? Okay, so we got that shit. So there was a camera in this bear's eye. And was disguised as a present. What the what you are? What the Willy wah, Willy, 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 Willy wah. But who gave Mr. Corda this present? Willy wah, Willy wah. Wah. Willy, Willy wah, Willy, Willy wah. Isn't there any way we can find out who that person is? Willy wah. Willy, Willy wah, Willy, Willy, Willy wah. Choose. Cat named Chew, yes, obviously the cat is named after Toast. Everyone's wearing shoes. I think you're onto something, Raptor. It's a whole conspiracy. Oh. Is there really no way to find out? Okay, so we got all that shit. Willy Wah! What? Willy Wah? Willy, Willy Wah! What are you going to do? Willy Willy Wah Willy Willy Wah! But, but that's impossible! I mean, it's already 9 p.m. Willy Wah! Willy Willy Wah! Willy Willy Wah! Okay, so I give that to them. Willy Wah! Willy Willy Wah! Willy Wah! Willy 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 Wah! He's gone. Yeah. But Mr. Scruffy Detective sure is a nice man. He's pushing himself so hard, all for Mr. Kamaya's sake. Uh, let me guess, Edward? You always manage to do things in the most ineffective ways. <coughs> yeah, I guess the right.
You'll have to excuse me. I heard your conversation just now. Edgeworth, what are you doing here? A rescue team has been has been created and deployed. I can't say I'm optimistic, but we have to move forward, one step at a time. Uh, I see. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find her. Hmm. Hmm. So, there was a spy camera hidden inside the stuffed animal, huh? You're one lucky man, right? Huh? Do you know this stuffed bear, little girl? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> of course not. The maker of this bear is a very expensive luxury brand from overseas. It's completely handmade, and there are very few that are exported here. What? The camera and the transmitter that Scatterbrain Detective took with him are dead ends. Things like those can be bought anywhere. However, this bear is different. By tracking how it got into this country, this bear can tell us who the buyer is. C can you really do that? Mr. Nick, can he really? Well, I guess so. Hmm. It's 9 p.m. I think I can still make it in time. Huh? I'll be taking this for now. I'm sure you have all the things you have to do. Stuffed bear snatched up by Edgeworth. I'm sure it fits in his pocket. See you soon, right? R wait! What? Why are you doing this? I have no interest in explaining myself to someone who cannot comprehend. But besides that, right? Until court reconvenes tomorrow, you should concern yourself with this question. Who was the person that murdered Juan Corrida? The real killer. Do you really think it was Adrian Andrews? To be honest, I don't know anymore. Huh. You still have a little time left. Find the truth, right? Everything begins with the truth. Juan Corrida's real killer. Miss Andrews' past. The kidnapper whose sole condition is an acqui acquittal for Mr. On Guard. And this card, Shelly the Killer. Maya, the only way I can save you now is to find all the answers to this case tonight. I don't understand what your real intentions are, Edgeworth. And as you said, all I can do for now is find the truth. To be continued. And that is it. This is the. It was actually day one, you could say, because the trial was still today. No, I can't keep going today. I gotta get going. I might be streaming later, but not Phoenix Wright. My throat is kind of. No, I'm sorry. My throat is kind of, kind of sore. I'll be back tomorrow though with more Phoenix Wright. Same time. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I gave you guys an hour and a half. I'll be back tomorrow. Same time. I promise. We'll keep it right up from here. We'll where we'll bust this case wide open. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, if there's if there are any new people here, uh, if you like the stream, please bookmark our site. I stream almost every day, same time, around the same time, and you might like other people around here too. Uh, if you are planning to come back, please make a Chatango account because it's mu it's much easier for me to remember your name with a Chatango account, and it's also much easier for me to read whatever you're saying and address it if it's in color, and it's it's different. Uh, what else? Any guys on livestream.com, please come over to ignoreourgirth.com because only here we can talk to you and read the chat. If anyone wants, you can register on the forum where you can request games from me or any other streamer, and you can even apply to become a streamer yourself, which is a lot of fun, I promise you, if you are good at it. And if you don't feel like hanging around all day waiting for a stream to happen, we have a desktop notifier application, which you can download, you can see it right down here in the ticker. And that's it, and that will let you know uh, who is streaming whenever they are streaming uh, right on your desktop, so you don't have to hang around the site all the time. So that's it. Uh, thank you, IDC Boobs, 
thank you everybody else uh, thank you for watching thank you for bumping whoever bumped someone beat you to it okay uh, thank you for bumping thank you for uh, helping me out with the game on stuff I was stuck thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed yourselves and that's it I know I did awesome case I'm loving Edgeworth uh, love uh, what what's going on and that's it uh, what's up next up next uh, oh who I don't know is anyone after me I doubt it right now no one but hopefully someone will come on soon and that's it I'll be back tomorrow, might stream some more today, some Rayman Origins or something else, and that's it for now. So, that's it guys, hope you enjoyed yourselves, I did, that's it, see you tomorrow guys.